what rate is gas coming out the annulus because if it is a plunger lift prospect, he needs to know that number. You know, he's got a certain ratio of gas to liquid that he's got to have. How efficiently is it being produced? 96%, pretty good. You ought to get a raise. Does the liquid in the casing annulus restrict production? Not in that well, it didn't. Does the casing head pressure restrict production? Casing head pressure will reduce production just like liquid level pressure. There's no difference in pressures. 100 pounds of pressure due to liquid is the same as 100 pounds of pressure due to gas. Pressure is pressure. And then you can calculate the maximum production rate. What we've talked about are single shots. You go up to a well, you don't change anything about the well, and you just shoot it. And you say, okay, I'm 96% efficient. I'm going to the next well. You can also do multi-shot tests where you shut the well in and watch the fluid build up and the pressures build up and perform a pressure transient test. And it'll tell you characteristics about the reservoir and do you have damage around the well bore. Then in workovers, they're often used in workovers just to track the liquid level in a workover. Just some things to think about. Do not leave the casing or flow line valve closed too long and push the liquid level below the pump intake. If you do that, if you get ready to shoot the fluid level, you close the valve, then you talk to somebody that comes up. If the liquid level is just somewhat above the pump, you'll be getting a full card, but if, when you build up casing pressure, you increase the back pressure and you'll keep fluid from coming in, you'll begin to pound fluid. So if you wait a while, you may show that you're pounding fluid when normally you're not. So don't change the well before you make your measurements. No configurations down hold. Don't let a liner or a tubing anchor, something else that causes a reflection make you think that's the liquid level and report the wrong depth. And to prove a liquid level, just move it. If it's high, increase the caking pressure and push it down. If it's low, shut the well down, let it build up and shoot it again. If you're having trouble getting the data, either the collars or the liquid level, look at the well noise that you have before you shoot it. And the, the well analyzer that gets that data and looks at it, it actually says, hey, this is a noisy well and you ought to shoot a big shot. The bigger shot you send down, the bigger reflections that you'll get from your collars and your liquid level, and the better your data will look like. So use a large charge in the gun. The signal traveling down through the gas in the casing annulus is a lot like electricity going through a wire. If you're not getting enough electricity over to a 20 horsepower motor, you got to run a bigger wire. Same thing's true in a well. If you get ready to shoot the fluid level, and you, well, you do shoot the fluid level, you don't get it or you don't count collars as far down as you'd like, well, then increase the casing pressure. Now, that'll push your fluid level down a little bit, but you'll get a better chart, and if you couldn't get your fluid level before, it'll help you. Some wells, uh, when they pump the well, <coughs> when they pump the well, um, the pump will actually pull a vacuum on a well. I used, I used to have some production, and we sealed the casing and pumped the wells, and it pulled a vacuum on the well. If you have vacuum on the well, sound, doesn't, I mean, sound travels in, in the gas. If you don't have much gas there, it doesn't travel very well. So I would open the valve up and let the gas into the well, which is horrible, you know, but I let oxygen and into the casing anus so I could shoot the fluid level. Things to improve your data, increase the pressure in the volume chamber, increase the casing pressure to improve the response. Make sure all your cables are in good shape. If the surface unit is real noisy, but this generally isn't necessary, shut the unit down. Quiz, pop quiz. Here are two wells. You just got through shooting them, and you're trying to figure out if you need to work on either one of them. And they're both 5,000 feet deep, and they have a static bottom pressure of 1,000 pounds. The pump is set at the formation. Both wells produce 20 barrels of oil and 80 barrels of water. Which well has the capability of producing the most oil? Well number one has 35 PSI of 
casing pressure. And when you shot the fluid level, it had a thousand feet over a free liquid, gas free liquid, that well wasn't making any gas out the casing over the pump. Or can you help this one more? Well number two had 500 pounds of casing pressure, which you'd bleed off if you're trying to help it, but it only had a hundred feet of liquid over the pump. So let, let's take a vote. And what you got to do is see you have the same pressure out in the formation on both of them. Take the casing pressure, add to it the gas column pressure, which won't be much, and then how much liquid column pressure do you have, and the well isn't making any gas, so you just divide the height by three. Let me show you the answer. This well, with 35 pounds of casing pressure and 1,000 feet of liquid, the bottom of the pressure is about 35 surface, 3 gas column, 333 in the liquid, about 371. The one with 500 pounds of casing pressure has about 60 pounds gas column pressure, 33 pounds liquid pressure, or 593. So this one is hurting quite a bit. This one not so much. And to look at the Vogel curve, you apply his analysis to it, 375, you're getting 80% of what's available. And well number two, with 500 pounds of casing pressure, you ought to bleed that off, let the liquid come in. You're getting 60% of what's available. What's the difference between this column of gas fluid and the casing pressure? Well, like I just raised my hand, I'm new to this. But, yeah, the casing pressure at the lost. top is simply measuring the pressure at the top of the column. And then you go down through a gas column, then you hit to a gaseous liquid column. That's accumulating down at the bottom of that well, and it's pushing back on the formation, trying to keep fluid, additional fluid from coming in. So the casing pressure is kind of the combination of the... It's, it's both of them. Both of them are pushing on the bottom of the well. A lot of people don't realize that. This was very interesting. So you guys sell software that does all that stuff? We give it. Yeah.